So this is a story about a man named Chuck. Sometimes he didn't give a fuck, and the other time he said, what the Chuck? Anyways, okay, I collected my thoughts a little bit, and um, this is kind of how the situation, where I got a what the Chuck situation. Uh, last night, Korean girl said, I won't be able to see you for a little while. So I didn't think much of it at the time. I thought maybe a couple days or two. Um, I wasn't sure of her plans 100%. But anyways, I messaged her and I said, what do you mean you won't be able to see me for a couple days? Or for a bit. And she says, well, my family is here from June 27th to July 17th. So I won't be able to see you while my family is here visiting from Korea. And I'm like, well, what the chuck? <laughs> Um, just because your family here means you can't see me? How does that work? And she says, I can see you for two days, June 30th and July 1st. But other than that, yes, I will be busy with them. And I'm like, well, I don't get it. Why do you have to be busy with them and not include me? And she says, oh yeah, I I'm sorry. I made all these plans already back in March when we weren't in a relationship. And, uh... She, she says, but yeah, we, I can see you two days. I'm like, well, what the hell? That doesn't make sense. See you just two days? How does that work? I got a little perturbed. And I'm like, how does that work? Because you've seen, you've met all my friends. You've met all of my family pretty much. And you've spent time at their house in the last two months since I've known you. And you don't want me to be around your family? Um, I'll clarify that I've never met any of her family or friends. She's went out and done stuff with her family and friends, and she's never invited me, whereas I was the opposite. I've always included her. So I guess you could say I'm a little perturbed, and I brought it to her, her attention. I'm going, what, you don't include me? What, you just going to do your own thing? She says, well, eventually I was going to um, invite you to see my family, but, but I just figured I wouldn't hurry. I'm like, well... Either you're in a relationship or not, and you're sharing things or not, so... So I called her out on it. I'm going, uh, how does this work? You, you're not willing to share your life or open your life to me? What's going on? And I said, I talked about a few people at work on this subject, and they said, yeah, you know what? Now is the perfect opportunity to meet your family. They're coming in to visit, so why not? It doesn't make any sense. What do you got to hide, or what are you scared of? So I called her out on it. I said, you know what? This isn't going to work then. I said, fine, whatever. You know what? Go do your own thing. I'll do my own and whatever. So then uh, about an hour later, she replied, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she says, I'm picking them up at the airport today at 9.15. Uh, do you want to meet them? Um, we can arrange a meeting with uh, um, her niece and nephew and I guess um, uh, it'd be a sister. So, um, yeah, so I feel bad for pushing the subject, but come on, uh, it's like, I, I've invited to you to everything, like I said, and, and you've been very closed off, so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, anyways, I'll keep this short, um, and, um, I'll mention more when we get more details on meeting up with her, uh, family, so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so tonight I'm trying to find an outdoor dance event before work and they got a nice view here so let's check it out. Hell yeah, turned out sunny. It rained a little bit earlier and uh, oh yeah, there it is. So, oh I know, one face I see. I don't know anybody else but maybe we'll just kind of see. There's not a lot of people there. So, but nice view. So, from what I understand, is this is the City Hall. Yeah, Vancouver City Hall. Never been down to this area. I guess they call it uh, Mount Pleasant. They have a little park here. I don't see a lot of people at the dance, but uh, we'll go maybe take a peek. I have no idea where I am down here by the city hall, but you know what? It's kind of cool. It's kind of different and funky. I like the old brick buildings. 
or it's probably not old, it's probably new. And downtown Vancouver is there. Okay, boys and girls, uh, last night was the first night that I have actually went out on my own without Korean girl. Um, because she's been a little reluctant to open herself up, to open up her life, and reluctant to seem to want to get into a somewhat semi-serious relationship with me, I've been considering, you know what? Maybe I should change my mind. Maybe I'm better off dating and seeing what other options I've got out there. Um, after going to this dance event last night, I got to meet those uh, these two Philippine girls, as you partially seen in the video clip. Here, I'll show you the video clips again and the pictures. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I'm I a little unsure. Um, maybe I'm better off, maybe seeing if somebody else has got a, a better, stronger interest in me. Um, I don't know. Um, now that I got involved in this dating kind of relationship life, maybe I do miss having a woman in my life. So that's where I'm trying to consider now. So uh, I don't know what to do. Um, maybe I got too serious with her too quick. Uh, I don't know. I'm all over the map. I do care about her. I do love her. So I don't know what to do uh, right now. But, um, yeah, who knows? We'll see. I'll think it over and we'll come back next video and update you on what the hell's happening with Life of Chuck. So anyways, until then, always try and stay awesome, guys. So cheers.